Well, for any who would have bought it around that time, this is what they would be sitting on now. They'd be sitting on top of a $790 game. That is 29.81% gain in four days' time. Hey, guys. This is Tuesday night, it's January 30th, and I wanted to do a midweek session of this week's winning stocks just so we could see where things are at because we saw a little bit of movement this week and it's going to be a little bit of a crazy week because of the um, Fed meeting and also there was some earnings announcements. So let's go through it and we're... We know we always start with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ to get an idea of where the entire market was moving. And today we saw the S&P 500 going up for the fourth straight week. It's only partway through the week now, but it's moving up through the fourth straight week. We see the same thing for the Dow. But for the Dow, we see this candlestick, the full candlestick for today, bigger than the candlestick for the previous three weeks, yet it's only two days into the week. And for the NASDAQ, we see a positive candle, but very small, very little movement on the NASDAQ. And now we're going to get to the stocks on our watch list. And we know we break our stocks down into three tiers. Three star, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which is below that. And one star is the least most fundamentally sound, but still fundamentally sound enough to make our watch list. And we see that. Method Electronics is at $21.56 a share. It's a one star. And our Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $28.50 a share in the next 12 months. And we see a little sideways pattern there for like the last four weeks, but it moved up, moved sideways too. Moved up a little, and then now it's been sideways for these last couple of weeks. We see FM6, and the same thing, a sideways pattern. Now it's into the third week moving sideways. It's a two-star. Currently at $26.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that it can move up to $38.67 a share in the next 12 months. The Hershey Company. Now, the Hershey Company is one of the stocks that were mentioned in this week's option picks as well, and we'll talk about that. But it's basically a three star. It's currently at $197.38 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $208.68 in the next 12 months. Now, I mentioned this stock um, a little while back about purchasing it in this week's option picks. And that's this week's option picks. And... When I presented it in this week's option picks, it was January 8th. I bought the option with a May 17th expiration and a $190 strike price. Notice it's up to $197 now. I mentioned it when it was around $190. So with a $190 strike price. And I actually bought the option so you guys could see what would happen. I bought it for $1,236.66 at that time. 
and the stock was actually moving down. So since it was moving down, I sold it for $1,049.33 for a $187.33 loss. That's a 15.14% loss. But it's moved up since then. And since the expiration isn't until May, and it's just January, I said, let me look at it now just to see if anybody took my advice and bought it when I said to, but didn't sell it. They still held it. Where would they be right now? And right now they would be at a gain of $293.34. And 34 cents. That's a 23.72% gain. That's from January 8th until now, the end of the month, January 30th. Next, we have Genuine Parts Company. They are a two-star, currently at $143.25. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $154.09 in the next 12 months. We have Darling Ingredients. They are a two-star, currently at $44.57. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $69.31 in the next 12 months. We have Biogen. They are a three star, currently at $247.08. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $317.06 in the next 12 months. We have Chevron Corporation, they are a one star, currently at $150.11. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $162.47 in the next 12 months. We have Archer Daniels Midland, they are a one star. Currently at $56, Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $67.92 in the next 12 months. Now, they are actually about to go, um, they're about to give a dividend. So the ex-dividend date, meaning the date that you would have to own the shares by to be eligible for that dividend would be February 7th. In other words, you'd have to own the shares by February 6th or before January, February 7th to be eligible for the dividend. And the dividend is 50 cents a share. We have Devon Energy. They are a one star, currently at $43.32 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $49.25 in the next 12 months. We have Yum China Holdings. This is another company that I mentioned in this week's Option Picks. They are a one star, currently at $35.12 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $59.70 a share in the next 12 months. Now, Devon Energy is about to give an earnings report on February 6th. So, an earnings report is sort of like a report card. 
but instead of for children, it's a report card for companies. When that earnings report drops, it's like being in a casino. If it's a good earnings report, the stock can really go up and you can make a lot of money. If it's a bad earnings report, the stock can really go down and you can lose a lot of money. I'm willing to handle the risk, so I have an option on Young China Holdings, and I'm going to hold it through the earnings report. But I would suggest that for those who don't have the stomach for it, and they can't handle losing if things go bad, that you would want to get out of Young China Holdings before that earnings report drops. Now, with Young China Holdings, I'm currently at, I have a loss of $133.32. That's a loss of 13.98%. But that's just a paper loss. In other words, it's an unrealized loss. I haven't sold it yet, so I haven't really lost any money until I sell it. Next month, it could be right back up, just like with Hershey Company. With Hershey Company, I actually sold it, and I took a loss. But if I had held it until today, I'd be up by 23%, by 23%. So I haven't lost on Yum, Yum China yet, and I'm still holding it. Humana. I mentioned them in previous this week's winning stocks. They took a significant drop over those previous three weeks. Well, at that point, they hadn't started to move up. But I told you guys about them. And I even mentioned them in this week's option picks. And now they've started to move up. They're a two-star. They're at $376.83. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $421.76. So I didn't have the money available in my brokerage account to purchase an option on Humana, but I wanted to make you guys aware of it just in case you had the money available in your brokerage accounts. So I told you about Humana. I told you that on May 17th, that's four months away, or approximately, that on May 17th expiration and a $360 strike price on Humana, because it was near that price at the time, would cost you $2,650. Well, for any who would have bought it around that time, this is what they would be sitting on now. They'd be sitting on top of a $790 game. That is 29.81% gain in four days' time. Because as you see, I told you all about this around January 26th, and now it's January 30th. So that's a 29.81% gain in four days' time. Okay. Next, we have ExxonMobil. They're a one-star, currently at $104.85 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $115.39 a share in the next 12 months. John Bean, or John Bean Technologies, they're a two-star. 
currently at $100.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $110.33 in the next 12 months. Now, guys, that's the end of um, our, the stocks on our watch list, but I need your help with something. I, as mentioned in a previous video, I was speaking to a YouTube consultant, I would say recently, and they advised me that I should narrow down on the type of videos I do in my channel if I want to get organic growth because by having different types of videos it's not going to suggest or or I'm not going to get the organic growth I'm looking for however I don't want to do that the reason I offer a wide range of topics is because I want to help you guys with as much information as I can so what I'm requesting of you is that if you spread this knowledge on your platforms or with people that you know, send out some of these videos, share the knowledge with them. I have this week's option picks where it shows you what options are going to move up. Just as you just saw a few examples of that. I have amount of stock analysis where all of the stocks that I mention in my channel I do analysis on them and for those that you guys request of me I drop that analysis in the channel you can just leave it in the comments and ask for it I do retire in your 30s where it talks about a solid plan where you can retire in your 30s and not be punished in terms of your taxes by doing that. So you can share that with others that you know who are in that situation. They're younger, they're looking to build up. I have exploring the world of options, where not only do I tell you about the four option pays, buying calls, buying puts, selling calls and selling puts, but I actually show you actual numbers and figures from them and screenshots so you know what you're in for. And I have fundamental analysis versus technical analysis. The two schools of thought when it comes to analyzing stocks, currencies, and commodities. So guys, I wish you would help me and share some of these videos in the channel. But for now, you guys have a great night. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.